Good morning. We are playing Medieval Dynasty today. For about another two hours of this, I've been playing this pretty much apart from going to sleep all of the time for the last day and about, about another no, not really. 24 hours. That's it's it. It, it didn't launch until just oh, after right. 11. Um, so, yeah, we've been. I've been playing this pretty much constant, apart from sleeping and eating. Um, I like it. They've made some major changes to stuff. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, like the costs of money. Um. They've changed. What? Wow. Um, they made changes to um, how how much how much you make off of flax, which is kind of disappointing. But um, so you don't make so much off the flax anymore. But you, the taxes aren't going up as extreme as I expected, so that's a plus. I don't know if they've adjusted how much it's going to cost for animals then, because if you can't make so much money off of off of flax and 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 generate a bit of cash, then um, it may take even longer to be able to get animals, which, to be honest, I need. <coughs> um, I need to be able to get pigs as quick as possible because that's where you get your manure from for the farm for the f for the for the um, plants and stuff so I'm hoping when I go and have a look at the pig farms in fact we'll check it out we're on our way to a nearby village right now um, wooden shovel lots of clay now I've already gone through a complete year and that's the other thing that's kind of um, changed they've taken away the warm clothing from you from the start you used to get warm clothing at the start of the early access game but now you don't which makes winter a pain in the backside to get through um i had to spend five days basically locked in my house because um the cold temperatures of outside was so extreme it was causing me to lose my health which meant if i left stayed outside too long i was going to die um to be honest i don't think that's Humans have got a bit more tolerance to cold than that, in my opinion. It shouldn't have caused me to die over five days of being outside. I wasn't outside the entire time. If I went into other buildings, the, the, the cold should have stopped. And Because I went into the granary to get some food, but I was still getting hit by the cold. Um, yeah. It, it's. I think they need to tweak it just a little bit so it's not as extreme for you to be outside um, I know they're trying to make it more challenging but god that was rough spending five days in a, in a house and I couldn't do much I, I'm probably gonna tr if there's a I think there was a tailor in this town we're about to get to now and why is it already dark Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah, I think she's here. Is that her? Yeah, that's her. Hey, girl. Yeah. How much do you sell your your furry? Hang on, what's that? Eight hundred. Wow. That's an, an, uh, a hat. That's what we had before, and that's five hundred. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, why is she charging so much for that? So, even though you don't start with it, right? 
you get punished because you can't get cold protection straight away you can't build a um, you can't build a, a, a a sewing building straight away you don't have the sheep you can't you don't have the flax so you can't actually make any protection against the winter I don't think that's fair and if you've got this on normal settings um, you're gonna you're gonna f freeze through winter um, Alright, um, let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, um, I came here for a reason, I can't remember why. Uh, do we have the. No, we don't. No, we don't. Um,. Hmm. Uh, from fishing. Okay. Do you know what? Let's talk to you. Let's see. Um. We're just gonna. I think I'm just gonna work on on a different lady, cause that one that's at my freaking out my my um my village just doesn't want to entertain me. What's your favourite food? Um. Well, we got six off of that. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Um, and six off of that. Um, that might be a good one. Huh. Okay, now she won't talk to me. I will be back to talk to you again. That's 24% already. Yes. Right, let's go out of the village, make a campfire, sleep, come back and talk to her again. Now, I've remembered that I can actually sleep at made f m campfires that I make, so I don't really have to run all the way home to get to get daytime to come back. Right, let's talk to her again. Uh, it would be better if you moved into my house. <laughs> Where do you come from? Tell me something about your birthplace. Imagine. A Okay, imagine I'm going to have lots of trees that are survival in I know this. Okay. Um, eight. Thirty odd. Yes, she didn't like that so much. Okay, that works. Thanks for. Bye. Um, right. So, let's head off back to our village. Now, there have been some changes in my village. Um, let's just grab a few of these on the way back. 
Not that I need them, but Ganny that lives next door to me, she just eats everything in the freaking granary. And we barely made it through winter because of her. Um, so hopefully the berries will will supplement the meals and she won't eat as much. Right, so let's head out back to the village and I'll show you some stuff that I've done. Now, um, made some changes, built some stuff, done some storylines. Um, the story that we've got running right now up in that top corner goes on forever. They talk forever. And it's a lot of reading. I don't like reading, personally. And I would have preferred it to be more voice acted. They've got voices in the game. The people, Some of these people have got voices. So why didn't they just ask those people that did the voices for these characters that are already here to do a little bit of voice acting for the rest of them? And do some on the storylines as well, because like, I'd, I'd prefer them to actually talk to me than me have to read what they're saying. Um, but yeah, so we've gone through a full year, and all of the carts that I looted before have. Um, Oh, we will have that. Um, have moved. Uh, some of them have disappeared. The the log, the the barrels and things that were on the lake next to my my uh, my village have gone. The ones across the water are still there, but I think that's because there was still uh, still some items in them. Um, but some of the actual carts that were along this road and other places have gone. So. I don't know if I want to go over there. Ah, that's what I didn't check. And now piggies are up here, and I don't know. I don't think that they don't have anything. I need to go and visit this town. But that'll be for another time. Um, so if this game actually makes it, if we actually make it to winter, that's probably when I'm going to call it on the stream because it will get the stream will get really boring because I won't be able to leave the house for very long um, they should have thought that through a little bit more um, especially if you extend now I've got it customized so if you've got it working for three days rather than five like I've got I've got it on on five days um, which even that I think might be too sh slightly too short but the problem with that is it's slightly too short for winter, summer and autumn but it's way too flipping long for winter because <laughs> you have to wait for three, at least three of those days before you can actually advance to, to, to the next season which it traps you basically in the, in the house for three days oh, a new cart what do we have here? Oh, stone arrows. Okay. Um, wine. Apple wine. Nice. I will have that. A bottle of wine. Is there anything else here? Is that all we're gonna get? Oh, hang on. What's that? Perfume. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh, does that perfume? Do I? Am I? Will that? Will I be able to give? Give what the call of that? A type of gift of uh, perfume that will. Ah. Nah. Um. Yeah, we'll carry. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that that's giving me a, a dilemma. But yeah, we'll go back to the village in the morning after we've done some stuff back at mine. Um, that was a nice, nice haul. I think that the, the apple, apple wine. I think that's quite a, an expensive item, two hundred and fifty. Yeah, 
So we're going to get a bit of cash from that. Uh, we are going that way. So, I don't know how I missed that on the way there. Hmm. Anyway, um, we're going to continue working on that woman back in that village. We're not going to worry about the one that's over here. She just doesn't seem to be interested. And we really need to get married and get, um, and get an heir on the go. Longer it takes, the longer it takes him to grow up and, and yeah, it just it just slows things down a little bit. And I need I need my village to start growing more. I need more people in there doing doing stuff. Um, especially if they've changed the amount of money you make on on things. Uh, is there no, there's another shawl here, I will have that, and we're now overweight, but when we, as we're getting back towards the, the, the town, you'll see the changes starting to show up. Now a little, my, my village is a little, I don't know, it's, it feels, that some parts it feels a little tight in, in the way I've built my buildings, but um, one of the buildings I'm going to be dismantling anyway at some point, so it's not going to be as much of an intrusion on this other building that it's next to, um, so uh, this is where we start coming into my village so I there was a row of trees that went all the way down to that mouses this this was all trees if you remember rightly and if you go this way there is another part of the path that comes this way in so there's two paths that I created created this path all the way in brings us all the way into the town now this building on these two are houses that's the workshop that you can just see there. Um, this is the um, mm, warehouse storage building. Now, two houses. This house is going to go away. I'm probably going to move it slightly more this way and make it a bigger house. Um, right, so we have a workshop here. We have a path that goes this way around the f around this field over to a, over to the granary and down the side of the granary because I was planning to have something here and maybe something behind it at some point now we've got the field we've got this field that I've planted um, cabbages in and some flax and this is wheat that hasn't actually fully grown yet now this building is the barn for working the field, so I've got this one here. I've also got another field that I haven't fully ploughed yet, or scrap, scrubbed. It's first it's, you need to scrub it, then then fertilise it, plough it and then seed it. That's how it's, how it's looking. Once it's scrubbed once you don't have to do it again, but the first stage of it is that. So. That's part of m that's my village. We've got a road that comes in here. I, I was going to put another road coming back out this side and around and over to here, and I was thinking of knocking these trees down and putting in the pigsty here, but it's that's work in progress. And I could also put a road coming in this way up to the pigsty and out that way and we'll build up build stuff more farms going up the side of the hill. Um or more fields going up the side of the hill. Right, so it wants me in the main story Oh hello is Laxing 
Thanks for the stream. I just got the game. I started to build houses on the side, on one side, and work thi work, and work things on the other side of the road. I never knew you could make your own paths. Yes, you can. Um, this p this on the if you press Q and you go to this one here, it says roads. If you go like this, you can actually. Um, make your own paths they don't really connect very well to existing paths it doesn't really look like it's connected properly let's run down let me eat first because it's complaining right um so when look at when you get down here it doesn't um really connect properly when you get to a, an actual existing path like this one for instance this this one that I've put in here it you can see where that it didn't this is my path the start of my path is right here and goes out that way this is also my path a little bit of just here this is the original path that goes the, the original path goes like off that direction so you can see where mine tries to connect to it but it doesn't there's this dark patch here that never goes away it doesn't look as bad in springtime probably in summertime as well which, which we're in but in winter you can actually notice it like here you can see you can see this is the original path and that's my path that goes off that way but yeah the the Yes, there is. There's definitely a. F it only just went full game yesterday. Um, I've played it from. Wow. Well, um, I think I think it was second week or first week it came out. In early access, I bought it, and I've played it all that time. Now, I've had I've had villages in different places. My village is right here, on this lake. Now I know that's a long way to go from here. Because you start here and you walk into this village. Now I've had a village, my first village I made was over here before they actually, this piece here was not in the game for a long time and then they changed it. Now there's a waterfall right here and there's these three um, little streams that feed this waterfall and my village was right along the edge of this stream and parts of this 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 PC I went straight through one one of, one of my buildings, and then I moved. Then I started a new village that was on the edge of this lake here. Now I tried to build my towns near water because um, if I want to turn it into a, a fishing village, it's a, a, when, with this one right. The 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 fishing hut was down here and that's a long way to walk to get to the fishing hut so I decided to build in a in a more easier access to water so like I said my, my road goes out to there and just here if you could the reason why I built here is there's the lake down this road I think it's down this road no down down this road and I think down this road there is that clay pit is somewhere around here and just over this way if you come up this piece of road and go this way and keep following it around you get to this path here that takes you up into the mines and I went and investigated that yesterday and somewhere around here I saw a bear so there is a bear here there is also one guarding the other side as well but he didn't I actually walked past him and didn't even see me um, uh, where is it hang on let me zoom out a bit here we go um, just 
This one isn't as easy to, to find anymore. Ah, there it is. Uh, right here there's another mine. And the bear, there is a bear guarding this mine too and I saw him sort of back here. This is a ridge of hills, a little ridge. And I saw him sort of down in this little gap here. But yeah, it, they've put bears on both mines now, so it doesn't really matter where I build my, my, my flipping village anymore. Right, so. Clay, I think clay regenerates. Um, everything changes every year. So when you get through winter, things will respawn, despawn, relocate things like that major things happen over at the end of winter so there was when I first built my village here um, as you see there's barrels here and I've emptied them out all of them are empty now on the other side of the lake over that that's on that side of the banking there was, there was three more barrels that I looted I looted them all completely. When I went over there after I'd gone into the new year, they'd gone. And, I, and there was also a, a broken down cart just on, the, just on my side of the bridge where my path meets the end. There was a broken down cart across the road from that and that's gone too. So things do change. And I'm assuming that each year the, uh, some of it will... It might not come back straight away might not always come back straight away but it does regenerate um, I, I'm not exactly sure on the time length of how long it takes it to regenerate but it does um, same with um, the mines when you mine the nodes in the mine they will disappear and they will come back over time right now then um, that's it that's what I want to do now I'm gonna <coughs> The, the quest main story chapter wants me to wanted me to build a storage which I'd already done. It wanted me to build a woodshed which I'd already done. It wanted me to build a uh, food storage which I'd already done. I didn't have a workshop and a well. I've done the workshop and I already had a 500 reputation. That's my workshop. Now I'm probably going to unlock. Um, I don't know what I want to unlock here. Um, I could do... Um, I need that. Balls. I need balls. But that's a hundred. I'm trying to... Wooden, wooden vials. vials. I'm probably going to need that for my um, herb my herbalist I need the buckets so and they need planks so we're gonna unlock that and then we'll unlock that because I have a load of sticks now I'm gonna need to drink and eat again yeah right now my plan was I didn't want to I didn't want to build this well yet uh, well, until I was actually streaming. Uh, do you eventually get enough points to unlock all the skills? Or just some... Well, right. This is not points. Right. The, the, this is... This... What you see here, right? Oh, the crafting. Yeah, right. Um, okay, let me explain that to you. Um, technology... This, this point system, right, is basically, um, it's an activity a reward system. So, the more you do something, if you, if you like, um, excavating, if you chop down trees, dig, dig clay pits, um, pick up, um, I think it, it, it's all, yeah, uh, mine stuff, all of this, this will eventually add to the points. Same with this one. Hunting. Hunting's basically you go around killing animals. Um, 
um, skinning them and you also pick up mushrooms is it, mushrooms is part of the survival system so you pick up the mushrooms you pick up any of the berries and it adds to your points and you un eventually unlock that same with farming the more farming you do the more farming you do the more this will grow like um, when I go to harvest this wheat it will give me points as I'm doing the job and but the, it only counts when you do it right if your villagers are doing the job you don't get the points you have to do it right so if you want to if you're wanting to get let's say blacksmith um, work in the workshop work in the kitchen work in the blacksmith all give you production points so if you're cooking gives you production points if you're making items in the in the woodworking you get points if you're working with a blacksmith you get points <coughs> right well no it's not better to live on your own because the whole point is you're growing your own village your own uh, dynasty of people you need those people because the more of these buildings right the more of these buildings you create um like this building requires a person to work it right now you can't always be here doing this when you've got three of these fields all with different stuff in it all needing planting at different times you cannot do all of that unless you extend see when you cus if you customize your game you can actually extend the days to however long you want so you can actually probably do it by yourself but the enjoyment of building these buildings and making houses is to have a, 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 a living village and the the whole point of the game is to have a son eventually um, this woman over here doesn't want anything to do with me so we're, we're, we're working on she just won't she just every time I say something I make a mistake and she she just doesn't seem to the, affe the affection doesn't seem to go up but um, like this hunting lodge um, I've got this lady if she's still inside she never seems to do anything um, but she's my hunter and she's supposed to uh, you, you, f you put knives in the right also if you don't understand the game <laughs> yeah sounds like real life mm -hmm. right so she's a hunter right now let's go to this screen we've got um, management you go to management this is kind of an important thing right this is this if you don't do this they won't work um, she's a hunter if you click on her she lives in this house and her job is at the hunting lodge I can change this to another place right but I'm not going to um, the actual building needs management also and let, let me get back to that so if you click on that all of these buildings like excavation wood needs a person right hunting has a person if you click on that it will open this window now in this window it says for them to work they need a knife so you need to put knives in this chest that's inside this building now also you go to this icon here and click it and you need to actually the person needs these adjusting for her to do, actually do the work so like I want her to make I want her to I want her to create meat so she goes out 60% uh, of her time she goes out and she gets meat and she creates 30 meat per day <laughs> right um, she's creating leather at 20% that's four per day fur 6.6 .6 per day and feathers five you need feathers to make arrows so she that's what she does now if you don't assign that to anybody and each building has that like this one has it um 
workshop. As you see here, no worker, no assignments. See, there's nothing here I would have to add for him to make simple torches I would have to make a percentage of time and obviously they're not going to create anything because we don't have a worker for it <coughs> right uh, yeah but it's it, it's a really complex it can be a really complex game and it, it, it I've been playing it what freaking a year now over a year now I've got what? How many hours in this game? Quite a few. Uh, a hundred and ninety hours in this game, but that's a lot of that is early access. Um, now I'm overweight, so let's get rid of that and that. St John's Wort thistles. Ah, clay. That's probably what's causing me to be overweight sticks and stones and I still haven't worked out why why I've got all these wooden I picked them all up wooden deer figurines I haven't got a clue what they are for right we'll chuck that in there we'll chuck no I think there's some kind of quest involving those deers I just I just haven't f found out what their involvements are yet. Are you Deer gifts? No, they're not. They're, I don't think they're a gift. Um, it just says here a type of decoration, strange deer figurines found in the mud. Uh, who might have created it? Now, where I found them, let me get the map up. You'll die. <laughs> That's it. Game over. <laughs> if you die, you hope you you hope you've got a good save because um, the only thing that can save you. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. Right. The only thing that can save no, apart from reloading, is if you've got an eighteen-year-old son. The game's called Dynasty. Your dynasty goes from you to your son. If you don't have a son that's old enough to take your name, you are out of there. Your son is your lifeline. <coughs> well, a son or a daughter, whatever. Your next, your next of kin, your your child will be your your next lifeline. If he, if he reaches the age of eighteen before you die, then the game will continue. <coughs> but that's the problem you've got to get 18 years that's why I'm trying to concentrate on actually getting a wife as quick as possible so that we can get the sun um, like growing up um, for the first few years is useless yes they they eat and drink themselves as long as let me see Right, um, if you look on this screen, you will see uh, food demands per day is 30. We have over 1,832, so we've got plenty of food. Water demands are 30. I've got 588, which is going to get better because I'm about to build a well. Wood demands is 13.3 and we have uh, 2,774. This will change the more people we have and the more buildings we create. Same with the taxes. Can I come and work for you? <laughs> yeah, I wish this was multiplayer, mate. Because this would be really flipping interesting. I, I think they could have actually created it so that you could have like maybe four, maybe eight, eight players maximum. Because you can put in, you could put a village here, you could put a village here, you could have a village here, you could have one. I, I walk down this new road and you could put a village all the way down this road. Um, I built a village up here. 
uh, there is there is places that you can I think you could get away with putting a village there's a um, there's a waterfall here this, is, this lake looks really nice there's a, a waterfall coming down on this side you could put a, a village that comes around here it's a bit rocky on that side around that side but um, you probably could get away with putting a village sort of here I haven't really explored around this lake but you could probably get one here too <laughs> Uh, so you could have like eight different villages scattered throughout this map with with actual players playing it. It would be nice. Uh, right, lake. Uh, well, we want the well, which I don't... I think, is, it, oh, is it this one? Nope. Um, excavation. Well, well. Oh. That's not the same size well as um, over in the big village. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, let's see. If I put it sort of like... Um, I don't know. Maybe like that. Okay. That's just thatch, right? Logs and thatch. Hmm. Easy building to f to sort out. Hopefully now, she won't have any wa water issues now. Cause I have to give her. Now nah, I'll let you into something I found out. Just let me finish building this, and I'll show you something. Um, when you first, when I first got this this woman to move into the, the house next door to mine. Ah, uh, sticks. Now, when I got this woman to move into the house next door to mine. She she needed food, water, food, water, a house. Before she moved into the village, she needed a house, water, food, and firewood. And if you do not have a storage building, which is this, if you don't have one of those, she can't get what she needs. You have to take it to her. No. I watched some of that stream. Oh, I watched some of that stream yesterday. The the launch stream yesterday. And the the they talked German and they didn't convert the German into English for me, and that's what put me off watching the rest of it. Plus, I just wanted to get in and play this game. They launched it. They did their stream half an hour before they launched the game. They, la they launched the game at twelve at eleven o'clock. AM UK time yesterday and as soon as they launched it I was downloading it and doing my own stream <laughs> so I, I, I streamed this for five hours yesterday um, in order to maintain and thrive a settlement in inhabit, uh, inhabitants inhabitants <laughs> inhabitants it, that's gonna that's that's that would yeah people who live in my village <laughs> need need to provide for the need need to provide for the small community by working villages village working villages can be given jobs by assigning them to specific buildings uh, when they are 18 18 years old or above this can be set up on the management tab when workplaces are finally occupied production can be dis distributed in the buildings tab and by selecting the desired building and altering the amount of goods the worker the workers are going to craft now I've just explained that so I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming with that management thing coming up that the well needs a person 
and it does and hang on do they actually need anything no they just they just and it cost me five coins in taxes just for this building to be here so they can fill water skins up with water and buckets with water so if I put that in I'm assuming I've just made the right choice in buying a bucket the buckets blueprints because um, I think we have a couple of these but the durability on them is gonna run out I think we'll have more buckets soon so I'm thinking when I go to here it's gonna when I put a person in they're gonna require buckets right so like she if you put the item she needs in here that, the condition of that's down now if she, if you put firewood in here food in here the this water skin in here she this is her house so she will be satisfied with whatever's in her box so let's have a look at this um, open the barrel can I put that in there um, well shaft ah aha uh -huh. okay so let me take that bucket back uh, let's use okay now that bucket's full of water let me see water huh uh, no that's not it that's it okay so right so if I put that in there she should be good for a while and I'm having that water skin back thank you very much oh this lady here um right she, right the, see eventually there's there's a girl I'm wooing in another village and I'm not I'm not gonna bring her over until she's actually my wife she's staying in that village because because I can't I can't actually see the the affection see I tried it on this girl but when you talk to her you only have age and mood you don't have the affection percentage here no more so I can't see how well I'm getting with get, getting along on her so it's it becomes pointless so what I plan on doing is she's gonna she's not we, me and her have are done we're not friends, no. we, we're friends now that's all she's gonna ever be um, but when you go to when I go back to this village down here in the morning because we're gonna go and sell that stuff and give that there's a girl in there that I'm gonna give the perfume to um, there's a campfire in each one of these villages there's a campfire somewhere inside the village and they'll have, you'll have random bodies sat around them now if you use this button uh, if you use um, left alt you will see these these icons above her head she's good at uh, mining she's a two she's a two at hunting three and three in farming now I can make that easier to see um, because she's part of my village but she's three in farming one in diplomacy one in fishing two in production so if you do that to everybody who sat around the campfire the ones that uh, ones that show that above their heads will actually m move to your village so when we go back down here I'm going to get a guy if there's a guy sitting down in this campfire I'm gonna check out what skills he's got and we're gonna get this guy to move to this village now if you assign when you when you get people you go to management this person will appear on this list this new person when he appears he'll have no house no food no water no heating now when you click on him you'll be able to assign him 
to a house like if I click on her she's she belongs to this house now when you click on him you can assign him to the same house and when you put him in the same house as her they become married eventually it just happens automatically they just become partners and yes they will have kids so your village will grow on its own once you start pulling people in um, it will grow <coughs> in fact my f second village had three kids running around before before they launched the game right so now we're gonna head off we're gonna head off back to um, where we actually need to eat let's eat oh we'll eat and then before we head off let's drop these these berries off in this this uh now this has all changed if you haven't seen the game before um you might want to look at some of my earlier videos of this on youtube um they redesigned a lot of the buildings um this building did not look like this it wasn't on a stilt so you didn't have to get steps it was mostly f it was like flat on the ground most most easily you could easily get into them without actually climbing steps all of this little decoration stuff in here like the carrots and and, and things the shells the little things here all of this wasn't here before they were pretty uh, pretty sparse in decoration Th they've really changed them and made them look look a whole lot better i tell you there's a if you there's this this game has such beautiful graphics now if you come down if you come down this path, path give villagers water. They get um no they don't okay. um Welcome they don't the they don't get to you i'm gonna need the best best way to fix the water issue now apart from giving them water skins see sh she won't get her own water I've just supplied her with some. I've I got the bucket. I used this well. I filled it up, and I put it into her chest. And now she's got ten units of water. Now, when I get someone to work this well, and to work this, work this um, woodshed, and I also need another person to be working over here um, at the woodcutters so I need a person in here a person at the well a person at that um, workshop for then the workshop guy will make buckets this person will cut down the trees and make planks the person at the well will use the buckets to fill up fill them up with water and store them in there inside the warehouse once they're inside the warehouse they she will go and get the water herself <laughs> until that happens i have to make sure she's got her own she's got water because she'll complain and if she doesn't have what she needs her mood will go down like now she's 11 percent I don't know how what happens when they hit a certain minus I think I guess they leave or they'll get really upset with you I don't know I've, I've never really let them get get to a point where they've wanted to leave my village but I'm, assu I'm, assu I'm assuming they will go anyway we're heading back to our neighboring village one of our neighboring villages and we're gonna see what we can do with that lady down here we'll have a chat with her see if we can woo her again we'll send a guy back to the back to vis live with her and hopefully we'll give him a job um it's not early access anymore the game's the game went 1.0 yesterday so 
he must be. You can still play your old games, your old villages, and and the version might stick. The 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 map will will be a little bit different, but this is not. Um, like it early game. Yes. Uh, yeah. You put you can put berries in their storage box, but it, it, um, my suggestion would be to get. Hang on. Um, building storage. You need uh, one of these, which is a normal barn, where you put your logs, your wood, that sort of stuff, and you need a food storage. If you get the food storage and this, everything you put inside there. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. I built the freaking village right next to the lake. I nip out and I drink from the lake, and yet they won't do that. I, that's that's an AI issue with the programming of the game. I think they, they they might not be able to get them to do it, but personally, they should. If you if you if you're right next to a lake, they should have a they should have a proximity meter of of around them, and if they can. If they're within a certain distance of a lake, they should they should utilize that lake, in my opinion. But um, I guess it's down to lazy programming. <laughs> I will. I'm not the kind of um, streamer that will 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 praise or not praise a a a a dev. If if you do a good job, I will tell you you did a good job. If you do a bad job, then I will tell you you did a bad job. And certain aspects of a, of game programming, that they, they get lazy. They don't they don't they don't think about like oh, a, 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 a normal human being would go to a lake and drink straight from it. Whether they whether you uh, are dumb or not, humans are programmed to survive so they would automatically find a way to survive so she should automatically go to the water and get a drink if she's thirsty <coughs> but I, I say that the, the, that's a lazy it, that, that aspect of the game is but I tell you, just down this, that, like I said, down this road here, there's a road that leads through the mountains here and then down past this lake. I think it's around about here. There's a tree um, with kind of whitish leaves that I walked past earlier today when I was playing off camera, and I'm, I'm like, it is some of the some of the scenery in this is breathtaking they have really done a good job at, at, at creating this map there's, there's a couple of things like the waterfalls in my opinion should be more um, white there should be more white caps on the water as the as it falls off the side of a off the side of the mountain and comes down the side of the cliff it should there should be a lot more white it's it looks like it's just like someone's just pouring it over the side and that's not our waterfall actually behaves it bounces off bounces off the surface of the rock behind it and it creates a, a, a foam that they haven't really done much done good with the um, um, the waterfalls in my opinion right I've got this right before we do that she's at what 42% affection let's see what we get when we give her this 50 I only got 8% from giving you a piece a, a fat that piece of mm, that perfume was 500 coins if I'd have bought it if I'd have bought that perfume, it was 500 coins, and I only got 8% off it, or 8 plus 8, 8% off it. Um, There's two ways that she could probably think of that. Um, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to be a seduction item. 8% means you think she stinks. 
Uh, I not sure about that. Thinking medievally. Yeah, but still, why would you waste 500 coins just to get plus eight? <laughs> Um, now the, these 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 things here, it's it's difficult to work out which one's gonna be best to to, to say to her. I'm thinking this one. That's only got me four. Uh, we'll do the singing again because that got us pretty good. Um, now she won't talk to me again for for today. We're getting there, seventy percent. Right, farewell. Right, we do not have, we do not have a guy here, so we're not going to worry about those two. But if to show you my um, the thing, like she's got, she's not even worth taking back, and she's good at fishing, not too bad at diplomacy, not too bad at hunting. Rest of it's not so good. Right, um, right. So let's see. Uh, let's go and talk to this guy and we're gonna sell you stuff that we found hey look give me 125 for that and 30 for that and I want to get um, I would like some of this and we'll take back um, 40 Right and I've got logs and I didn't want to fetch those Okay, so Fair one mate, right. Let's see. Where's the next closest town from here? Let's go up to there because I need to fig. Oh before we go let's find out how much these goats cost Three three grand that 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 is just they haven't changed that that's annoying it still costs a fortune to take to get anim animals and yet they've they nerfed they nerfed the freaking flax field you can't make money as fast anymore i used to make a whole lot more money off the flax fields than i do now and now it's going to take me forever to get two pigs. <laughs> you watch when we get down to these pigs down here. It's going to cost me a fortune. Uh, do I have any water with me? Just a little bit. And I've got some food so I need to eat. Now if you're running. Like when you're running you burn more food. And water the hotter it is you get it burns more water so no axe here um, right that's that's just so I'm gonna uh, they added the badges in the badges and the moose are a new addition to the game since early access so is the herbalist hut which Hang on. So next, the next chapter, we're starting a community. Build at least fifteen buildings. Oh my god! That's gonna be like. I need. Um, can, what's what's it take to build a kitchen? Production. Uh, kitchen. Eight logs. I've got that one. I'm gonna need. I need to get 15, 15 production technology to get the blacksmiths. Um, we need. I think a hundred, a hundred in production technology to get the sewing hut. I really need that sewing hut. That sewing hut is going to be important, especially the fact that I'm going to freeze to death in winter. How much money do I have? A thousand, two hundred. 
You know, I'm going to end up blowing all that money. Yeah. Try shooting a freaking bison in the head. <laughs> but but save it before you do. <laughs> because um and they're smart the the bison are s smarter than dogs. Cuz I shot it through my window and it came running through my front door and killed me. <laughs> watch my if you if it's still up on Twitch you want to watch that video from yesterday cuz that was just hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I shot it, yeah, I shot it through the window and all of a sudden, I'm like trying to hit it again and it's right under my window, then it disappeared and then it came barging through the front door and, sm and slammed me up against the wall and killed me. It was, it was kind of funny and I did it, <laughs> and I did it twice, <laughs> so it's like I didn't learn from the first time that it was going to come through my door. <laughs> right, let's find out how much this pig's going to cost me. Oh, two grand. Piglet, one and a one thousand one hundred twenty-five. Ah, uh, that's cheaper, but I need it working now. I need the manure today, not not in two years' time. Chickens give eggs. That's all. They don't give manure. No. Oh, that's a bad one. But it's not enough to feel fertilize the field, ends. They're not really that good at field fertilizing fields. Okay, so I came all the way out here to get a person, and it looks like we've got a bunch of guys. Right, let's see what the what they're good at. He's good at production, uh, excavating, farming, fishing, and he actually makes stuff good. We, in, we need him. Um, let's have a look at these two. Uh, farmer and a barky oh and a fisherman he's not bad he's got two of he's got two of those um hmm hmm oh you don't have a fishing right? I don't have a fishing hut not yet I need him I think hang on let's see what He's not very good at excavation, and I need somebody to bring in firewood. He's two, and he's one. But, nah, okay, okay. Um, let me see how good she is first, before I make my choice. She's, oh, she's good at excavation. How good are you at hunting, mate? You're not bad. Okay, we're having him. Uh, a whole lot better if you move to my village. Sounds great. Great, see you there. So, off he trots. Now he's on his way to my village. Now you see up the top left, he's got no house, no food, no water, no no fire, no firewood. Can you run ahead and fix it up? No. Best way to do it is we go into this, click his name. Assign him to her house, and he's just moved in with her, and boom, all of his needs are met because she's already filled the house up. So if we look at that house now, um, that house, there's her and him, and these two will become partners, and there will be babies. <laughs> but he needs a job so let's fix him up and um, we want him to be uh, yeah we're gonna switch these around now so he's gonna become he's gonna become hunter so we're gonna go hunting lodge stick him in there he's gonna become hunter and she right um, exit that and she is going to move jobs and she's going to be woodsmith you're going to be lumberjack 
Right, now she's going to start getting me the logs and stuff. Where are you going? The village is that way. Dude. Where are you going, man? No. Which way are you going to go? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been easier to go this route? Down to our village, past there? I'm not going to follow him if he's going to go the route I've just come. Because I want to go and check out. Morning, Daz. How you doing? Yes, good morning. He's going the wrong way. Man. The village is this way. Mate. Maybe he forgot I, something. I'll give you a map. Just follow me. I'm going there now. <laughs> He's such an idiot. <laughs> We're gonna, Where the fuck is he going? He's going to the village, but he's going to go the long way around. We'll get water. Get water? Yeah. Yourself. Yeah. Well, we should cross. We should get... Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll get to water before I run out. I need to go down this path because I want to... <laughs> to pack his bag, he just walked straight out the village. And what bags? He was sat outside. He was sat next to a freaking fire with nothing. <laughs> anyway, we're on we're on his way out. Actually, I still I, I'm 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 gonna need to buy some winter clothes because I can't stand sitting in the house for five days. And that's, that's another thing, like, everything is so expensive in this game, like, the, the jacket, the winter jacket I'm going to need, 888 I think it was, and, well I've got a house, but that doesn't help when you need to go outside, <laughs> uh oh, um, Hello, Bison. <gasps> no, no, just let him walk on by. He's in my way. I need to walk down this path and he's... Save the game. Yes, save the game. Yeah. Yeah. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. New... That is the right, that's the time, right? Just give me a sec while we, uh, while I 